then it's really, it's, you can see it's barely moving at all. It has just enough jiggle, which is actually okay. So I'm wrapping up my day. Now, you might hear some noises in the background because normally I do this in complete silence, but I had some laundry to do and I put it in. And so you will hear the sound of my laundry being laundered by the washing machine and dryer. So, uh, um, but I had a, it was a really simple day today and I thought I'd just wrap up the day with a video. Today started off at the gym, I did chest. My numbers are almost back to normal, normal, normal. What actually went beyond I've, what I've ever seen before was my, were my triceps. I did a tricep workout today. I saw numbers I've never even seen before. So uh, I think the gaining weight and the constant lifting and um, uh, being a little bit more liberal with my carb intake uh, just to get the energy so I can get my muscle back, it is working. So that's really, really super exciting. And then I practiced. Imagine that. I practiced my instrument and there was no like recorder. There was no Instagram video. I was actually just practicing. <laughs> and I was getting ready for all the different performances we're doing tomorrow. Now, this is pretty neat to talk about. So for all the Philadelphia Orchestra performances that we're doing, we're doing them with very limited rehearsal time and very limited um, uh, performance time. As a matter of fact, for example, uh, by the time this airs, you would have seen my Mozart's 29th Symphony because we were playing that tomorrow. We rehearse it and then we perform it and we have an hour and a half to do all of those things, <laughs> um, we're, which means we'll likely run it. We'll get some notes from Yannick, who will be with us tomorrow, and then we will um, uh, perform it, and then it'll be recorded, and then it's, that's the end of the service. And then the evening service, because we actually is over the late evening, because we're going quite late into the night. Um, we are doing more selections from our opening night festivities, which will be done all virtually behind a paywall with the Philadelphia Orchestra, and I'll be sure to put that link below so you can see and sign up for that if you want to do that. Yeah, and if you have any questions about that, you can always feel free to ask me. Okay, so. Hello. Um, <laughs> I just did a, um, a talk with a, an orchestra here in the United States. I don't know if I'm, I will not say which orchestra, but it was great talking to some musicians about what's been going on in COVID um, and what I've been up to and some other fun subjects. And now I am about to pack Norma up and get ready to get her ready for work tomorrow because I'm taking her to the hall so I can put her in her trunk and then the orchestra crew will take her to the main center tomorrow morning where we will be reunited tomorrow afternoon when we have our first services official services of the 2021 subscription season. So I am gonna do that now. This is an old case that I have. This case is from, I've had this case I think ever since I got Norma the first time. So this is maybe 12 years old. Uh, I had another case made for her, but I actually used that case for Riley. Um, so hey Norma. Got to play you a little bit today. And I didn't wipe my bass down. That's not good. Um, I will Although, I will pack this bow because I will not need it. So I will bring this with me. But I will wipe the strings down first. And I may not, I'm not talking very loudly. I'm talking to my bass. Um, to Norma. I didn't wipe my strings down. So I'm going to my strings down. Um, the, it's been chilly, so the rosin's beginning to powder up, which is neat. Okay. I don't need this at all, so the practice me can stay here. So we did a recording in um, the lobby of the Kimmel Center for a project. Um, you've probably seen it online by now. I put it on my Instagram. Um, it was a, um, put together by Susan Wolf of the San Diego Symphony. You should check it out. It was really, really pretty incredible. I will leave this towel here. I'll keep my mute. I, will, I don't think I need it tomorrow. And I think we're ready to go.
I know some people say this is bad. I'm going such a short distance, so I'm actually just putting the bow under the string, um, taking it to the hall because there's a special, I'll show it to you. There's a special place in the trunk where I can put my bow um, so it's not on the base when it travels. But since I'm just going to the hall, which is not far away, I am going to roll it with this on like this. I'm probably teaching you all terrible habits. <laughs> So don't do anything that I do. Do only what your teacher says. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Good. I always have to make sure my bib is not on the back of the base because it's really easy to have it on the back because if I, particularly when I put it in a car, I don't have the bib on the back because it's got rosin on it and then it sits on the rosin and that makes me nervous about all that pressure it's putting on the back. Oh, so I have backpack straps. And you're like, what, what are the, um, I used to love walking around with the backpack straps on my base and walking around town. I mean, you get a lot of attention. <laughs> uh, and you'll notice one of the straps is not on. Yo, I got really lucky one day because Norma almost sang the song of Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Norma. I was putting Norma on my back and I had one of these on and then the other one when I was putting it on it broke while I was trying to put it on. Luckily I had Norma on the other shoulder so the base just swung around and I was able to catch it. That was a little scary and I haven't carried a base on my back ever since. <laughs> I've got one of the carbon fiber end pins and carbon fiber end pins are not the hard metal ones. They're these, I don't know if you can see. I'll get it close to my face, maybe it'll sort of focus. But these are the carbon fiber end pins with this rubber tip. You can always, always take this off and have a point. Most people, are, most people are protective of their floors now, so they don't want you to put the point on their floor, so it's just nice to have the rubber tip. I used to think the, the balls would be like really annoying as a buff tip, but it actually works really well, so I've kept it. I'll put this away here. I'll put this wheel on and get ready to go to the Kimmel Center, which is something I've not done. Okay. And I'm ready to go. <laughs> this is the Stephen Riley bow I was telling you all about. Stephen Riley, um, I had four sticks and the other stick was here at the Kimmel Center. And I haven't been in my locker since March. And I was able to Get my stick, so I'm using that as my backup stick for the services at the Manson anymore. I would show you more, but it's actually, I know, very difficult to see. It's pretty dark, so I'll have to give the real show for the Stephen Riley stick at another time so you can see. What a beautiful stick it is. So here's where we keep, here's where we keep the bows. And I have to keep my mask on. I'm sorry, I hope it's not too hard to understand me. I have to keep my mask on because I'm inside the building, but that's where we keep our bows. Now, I'll probably show you, do a whole tour of the, of the case. So if you look, That's me. Hey, good. And so we have a mirror, as you can see. And we have something where we can hang our tux here. This is where we keep our bows. There's one bow in there. And we have all the storage space in here for rosin, maybe protein powder when we're on tour. There you can see one of the last times I used this was for the Academy Bowl. And this is historic because the Academy Ball is not going to happen anymore. Not because of the pandemic, but because they are putting a pause on it. You can see the straps inside and you'll watch me load this. Now I've got to investigate Norma because I, um, when I was leaving my apartment, I hit her on the side of the door. It wasn't that bad, but you know, it always hurts. It hurts right here. So I'm gonna check it out and make sure she's okay. I 
Investigation. It's right here on the corner. I can't tell. So I haven't had my base looked at in many, many months. Um, or over, I mean, like maybe a year, two years. And generally, Erin Riley from Guarneri House will give her like a once over, like a doctor's appointment. And she normally has a lot of open seams. Um, so it looks like the seam could be open. Now it could have been already there or it could have been because of the, the uh, delicate little hit I gave her earlier. Well, she'll be okay. It's not major, whatever it is, because I can hardly tell. It's pretty imperceptible. But I do, I should have her looked at because it's been so long. And with all the weather, she has been in the best climate because my apartment is not like weather sealed. So anyway, that is the case of the base. It looks like she's doing all right though. So now I'm going to take out my bow and put it in the bow area. I normally leave my bib on for domestic trips. So for domestic trips, I keep the bib on. If I'm going overseas, I'd actually take the bib off. No one likes that rosin and stuff, and I like to take it out. Okay. Good. Another in there. These straps. So these are new cases and I'm still getting used to loading them up in this trunk. Um, I haven't even been able to give all my comments. So there are some things I wish could be a little better on here, but I, it's all been manageable this far. So the straps aren't quite long, long enough to make it easy. They still connect, but I wish it were a little easier. So I probably asked them to make this a little bit longer so I don't have to try so hard. I have these wedges in here and I use the wedges to help stabilize the base because if the base isn't stabilized, it can like move around and that's bad. <laughs> so it's actually just with the straps, pretty good. But I put, I literally wedge these on the corners here And then it's really, if you can see it's barely moving at all. It has just enough jiggle, which is actually okay. Um, um, but it's all padded and the base is actually in great shape and I feel pretty comfortable. I forgot to bring my rosin. So I had some rosin in my, in my, um, in my trunk. I mean, in my locker, in the base room. The lights were out on there. They didn't even turn on, so I couldn't show you that. But I've got my rosin, my diamonds and my soft. And then this is actually helps move the um, sound post. This I'm going to use so I can practice moving the sound post on um, Riley, possibly. Since I'm not going to be in the building, I figured I'd just take it so I can have it with me. And this has a lot of other sound post moving things inside. There we go. And. I think we're good to go. <laughs> I'm gonna leave my case. I hope they bring the case to um, the uh, man center because I'm gonna need the base later, early next week, and I probably won't be able to take my trunk. So let's pray they remember to take the case. I'll probably send them an email tonight. And there you have it, y'all. That's me packing Norma to take her to the man center. So we can get ready to play some Mozart tomorrow, and uh, some other great music for our opening program. So I just got back home, I ate. I have a lot of emails to do. A lot of emails.
else to do. So I'll be working on that tonight. I Dave gave a class, no, and on this, I gave a class at the uh, University of Kentucky, Louisville. Uh, did a great class with them, and it was great because I got to end, end the class um, by talking a little bit about my work and w why I do the work that I do outside of the orchestra and why I think it's important. And I saw another one of my videos where I said, I feel like I should end with something. And maybe this will be the beginning of, or the ending, but the, <laughs> the beginning of how I sign off of these things. Um, I, 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 in the moment, I just said, so after speaking to them about being a civic musician, civic-minded musician, just a citizen, uh, figuring out a way to use your gift for service and giving back to your com community, I said, go out and basify. And that's what it was. And that's what it is. So you, bass players, go out and basify.